morning. As you saw out there, it's winter here in Jackson Hole. It's um, 23 degrees, snowing lightly, and sunrise, actually to the minute, sunrise is happening right now, but it's way too cloudy to uh, see that. So I'm out today with two special things, two new cameras, the Nikon Z6 II and the Nikon Z7 II. Um, I'm, I've been shooting the Z6 II since it came out, so how long ago is that? Over a month? About a month ago? Yeah, over a month ago. I've been shooting the bejesus out of it. So I have a really good idea of things that I like and don't like, and uh, I'm going to do a review on that. So I don't know if that review will happen before I publish this or after. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, look for that review if you're interested in that. And then I'll be working on the Z7 II just came in uh, like two days ago. It got released. And um, so I'm not as familiar with that camera yet, but I'm going to be out here today, hopefully, making some images. Got to find something to shoot and uh, kind of furthering my learning process about the new Nikon Z cameras. So I'm looking uh, currently headed out here to look for moose. Uh, I'm not quite sure how excited I am about that because it's just total flat light gray out here. So I kind of need something other than like just a moose standing there in the sagebrush. Uh, so maybe a group of moose or a moose completely covered in snow or something more interesting than just, oh look, there's a moose standing there in the sagebrush. And um, other than that, I'm going to just kind of cruise around and look for whatever else I can find. Uh, maybe shoot some moody, landscapey stuff out here. I don't know, but I'm going to have a good time. And I've got uh, the Z7 currently connected to the 600mm f4 and the Z6 Mark II. Yeah, it's in the back seat with all that other crap. Uh, connected to the Tamron 100-400. to So, I'm going to make some images. I'm going to show you those. And uh, I'll, I'll get back to you when I find something to shoot. Okay. See you soon. Bye-bye. All right. Scratch the moose off the list there. I saw a couple dozen moose, but they were nothing, nothing very inspiring. They were a long ways away and just standing in the sagebrush. <laughs> so... Uh, I blew past all the moose that I saw, and I'm going to just keep looking. Um, got a couple other places to drive to and scope out. Hopefully I find something along the way. But so far, no photos with the new Nikon C7 Mark II. So I guess I'll uh, just keep moving around here and uh, I'll let you know what I find. Hopefully something good.
Hey everybody. I'm using the old um, 600 millimeter selfie stick today with the GoPro and the hot shoe. Luckily I found something to shoot and it's been quite fun um, with the, uh, there are three river otters here and they, they put on a pretty good show here for me coming up and eating some fish on the ice and uh, swimming around and playing and it's really tough shooting in here because it's so gnarly with branches and um, just hard to find little spots to shoot through the clutter here. But they, th these guys have been uh, pretty good. They've given me some good opportunities. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm shooting with the Z7 Mark II. This is my first time out with the camera. I went through and set up the menus. I'll probably do a different video on that later. Um, and then, and now I'm out. Luckily I found something to shoot today and it's very challenging for an autofocus system out here. Shooting dark otters on dark water and then having a lot of clutter with all these... Uh, bushes and snags and sticks and stuff it's reasonably dark so um it's just kind of stormy dark it's uh i'm shooting it like a 1600th of a second f4 and iso 1600 out here so not really dark dark but in these little holes it's kind of dark and challenging for the autofocus system to try and decide what to focus on so um so far it seems like it's doing a really good job my old z7 would have failed miserably in here um, I know that from experience. <laughs> so I'm not sure, um, I, you know, I won't really know until I get home and can actually zoom in at one-to-one -one on all these images and make sure that the focus is nailing it when I want it to out here. But it, it feels like really good improvement over the old Z7. So uh, I'll do a full review on it, of course, once I've had some more time um, to, to use it. I'm just trying to um, capture some of these little moments. These things are so cute. So playful, so much fun to watch, and so much fun to photograph. So uh, I feel pretty lucky that I got to find these guys this morning and uh, make some images with the new camera, try it out, and make a video for you guys. So I'm going to keep working these guys until they head to den for the day. They've been crushing the fish. These are brook trout out here, and they are just absolutely vicious hunters. So um, they're they're gonna be they're gonna have full bellies. They're gonna need a nap soon, and then I'll uh, go back out and cruise around some more and look for some other stuff. Just perfect way to uh, break in a new camera out here with uh, three beautiful river otters.
Pew wee. All right, I'm back in the car finally. I tried to leave a long time ago, but I got sucked back into the otters because they came back out, and it was the best otter photography session I've ever had. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to wrap up the video today because it was an awesome day. Not even a day, a couple of hours. Even a couple of hours shooting otters. It's amazing. So I had a wonderful time. Made some, I think, pretty nice images. And uh, hopefully in an enjoyable video for you fine folks. So have a great day, everybody. See you in the next video. I'm out of here. Bye. I'll be damned, my coffee's even still warm. Way to go, Hydro Flask.